Hello everyone, it's David Heath, Underbrush Land Clearing. The project at hand today is to remove and replace the fuel tank on the ASV RT120 because it sprung a leak out in the woods. So you have to take the cutter head off, lift the lift arms, lift the cab, unbolt and remove the floor pan, take all the metal guards off the sides and the in the front. This is the plastic tank. It wraps around both sides, drops down in the front, drops down on both sides. There's your filler cap. So you have to take off all your electrical components, all your lines. But you see how dirty this engine compartment gets. This is actually your hy hydraulic pumps, two different pumps in here, but it sucks debris up in there while you work and it's dangerous because it can cause a fire, so you always have to clean this out, so it's hard work. But I have to get in here and unhook all the hoses, pull this tank out, drop a new one in. The new one's not here yet. I just ordered it. Probably going to be a couple of days before it shows up, and I'm sure it's going to be six or $800 if I'm lucky. It'll only be six or $800. I got two jobs waiting on me, and I had to call them and put them on hold. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. We got all the fuel drained out, and now I have to crawl under the machine. Oops, sorry. Let me show you. This is the access panel that's leaking. You got a thick, solid plastic tank, and this access panel gives you access if you need to get in there and clean debris out of your tank. But these bolts screw into a nut that is housed in a molded domed plastic inside the tank and that holds the nut while you unscrew these bolts well they all came out except these two and it's an o-ring in there so you have to have all the bolts to pull the o-ring up tight on to the plastic tank to seal it well it's not going to work and the only way to fix it is to remove it and replace it so that's what i'm doing you always have to get under here and the whole bottom is covered with these real thick metal access panels. You have to drop these so you can get all the debris out that, that gets sucked in while you're working. And uh, no doubt it's hard work. So everyone thinks forced emulsion is fun and easy and easy money. Well, the money's good, but the money doesn't come easy. <laughs> and when it's time to remove and replace parts, nothing's cheap. So. These hydraulic motors right here, hydraulic pumps, they're probably about eight grand a piece for those two. And the one hydraulic motor in the cutter head is about eight grand just for that one and their short lifespan. So somebody has to do it. I guess I'm your guy. So I'm gonna get started.